Hello everyone. Uh, I just wanted to show you um, my broad beans. Um, this is not something that is often grown by uh, Bangladeshi vegetable growers. Um, so let me show you this, guys. This should encourage you. I mean, this plant, these plants, in fact, I sowed them in October um, in pots, and then in about November, would you believe it, I planted them straight into into the ground. Um, I wanted to use the, use the space up in the garden and, and, and I, used, I did this last year, I just tried it out with a few plants and it worked. So look at look at the amount of broad beans I have this year, I mean we're in May now and none of my plants are, well not a lot of them are ready to go out today and today is a bit overcast and, and it's a bit rainy, you, know, you can see the drops of rain falling. Um, it's not a great day but um, so I can't really put out my cucumbers just yet. Um, my, you know, well, I probably could, but I don't really want to. I just want, the, you know, the weather to warm up a little bit. Uh, my cucumbers, I've got some tomatoes to put out, also amaranth. Um, so, anyway, before your summer vegetables go out, you can get a good harvest of broad beans. And today I'm going to harvest it. Let me show you what um, much has grown. So, all of these. Is that? There's your growth. Here are my broad plants, so I put them out yesterday. Now, one thing, um, they're, they're, they're very low maintenance. You just, you, throughout winter, they, they, they'll survive. And, but one negative thing about uh, broad beans is that they attract black flies and usually at the tips. So um, always just break the tips off. I haven't. Uh, broken these uh, well I have broken these one off but yes, I've still got um, some black flies and that's not too bad it gets bad when they just cover up your um, like here <sighs> look at this here's, here's an actual bean that's covered with black flies and this is the way I kill black flies honestly I, I try not to use chemicals and pesticides um, because I just want to keep my garden as organic as possible um, so, I just use my hands, give them off, use some more, by the way. Here you go, and you can see here, a couple of beans, a few beans here, being completely attacked by the black flies. But, <coughs> these are nice and healthy. So, today, I'm going to my sister's houses, and I'm going to harvest all the beans, keep some for myself and uh, give the rest away to my sister as well so let me show you let me show you something else look so here are cherry tomatoes um, and these are growing from the plants that we had last year in this area and and some of the tomatoes that just we didn't take so they just fall into the ground and we're getting loads of baby cherry tomato plants it's a spinach plant um, from the spinach plant that we have that gave seeds. And these are cucumelon plants. So it's really good actually, because you get some really nice surprises in the garden. If you do a lot of gardening, and you, know, you get a lot of nice little surprises when the seeds fall into the ground and you just get loads of new plants that you didn't expect. So anyway, so today I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna harvest these do a little video of me harvesting and, and, and I'm probably going to clear most of these plants because um, I just need to make space actually um, so I can start putting out my cucumbers, my tomatoes, amaranth and my peppers so here you go Lino okay that's my that's my cat such a beautiful gentle cat I know is actually a girl and I've named her after Lino, the Lord of Thundercats. Okay. Anyway, let's get on uh, with harvesting these board beans. So I'm gonna start off by clearing this area because really I want to I just want to give some space around my board plants and I, I just don't want the black flies to go on to my board plants and my bean plants that are there. So, I'm just gonna uproot these.
Okay, the size of that. So I planted um, beans and chocha plants along here, and I really want to clear this area.
So this is what I managed to harvest. Uh, there's plenty of beans here, probably about a kilo and a half, about a kilo, and probably just about under a kilo. So you've got about four, about four kilos maybe, um, three or four kilos of broad beans. Um, and this is a bonus really, because we don't normally grow a lot of winter vegetables. And, um, and as I said, I tried this out last year once with a few plants and it worked fine. So this year, um, I tried this on a slightly larger scale. So again, in October, I put the seeds into pots and when the plants were about eight to 10 inches tall, yeah, that was in about November. And I thought that was a bit late to put something into the ground, but it was completely fine over winter. Um, over December, January, plants were fine. And as soon as spring arrived, and the sun came out, the flowers started to pop up um, on the plants and you started to get your first load of beans in say March and April. And I didn't harvest any, I, I think I sh that's the mistake. I mean, I should have harvested some of the beans in March and maybe April so that uh, the smaller beans would have grown. So I've left just a few plants out in the garden in the areas where I, I'm not gonna probably immediately plant anything out there. So I don't mind leaving those plants there for another, say, you know, a few weeks to a month or so. Um, there was one bean that was eaten <coughs> by bugs. So I just opened it up. Look at the size of these beans. This is really big. These are really large beans. Um, you know, for your own homegrown beans, I think this is great. So guys, I hope this encourages you um, to try your own broad beans um and start growing some winter vegetables please subscribe thumbs up take care